hello friends today in this tutorial i'll be showing you that how to use the gmail api to send the email and view the inbox messages straight inside your browser using vanilla javascript and html5 so this is a step by step blog post where i have written step by step instruction you will see first of all you will have a authorize button if you click that button you will be granted with the permissions you need to select your google account gr grant the appropriate permissions here and after that a set of messages will be shown here latest messages of your gmail account will be shown on the screen and you will be able to compose a message straight from the application itself you will see you will send a message from to subject message and after that the message will be sent to that email address so all this application we will be building from scratch so this is the blog post i have written step by step in the video description if you want the full source code <laughs> simply just copy the paste the source code this is a single file index.html let me guide you how to build this so simply first of all copy this and let me just copy this and here after that you need to have a editor installed here so just create uh, open visual studio code text editor and simply index.html create this file and simply copy paste this code so paste it and now you need to make some modification in this code here if you just open this this will not work because you need to replace your own api key and the client id so here this is the option here so in order to get get these two details which is client id and api key you will need a account inside the google cloud console so just go to google and type here google cloud console so this is the account here and simply click this you need to create an account i have already have an account so the very first thing you need to do is that uh, let me just select the account where i have created this so yes this is the account so i have this account here so if i click this already i have created a project here so the very first thing you will do is that just go to the api preview section and you need to enable the api which is gmail api so simply here search for gmail api and uh, the gmail api will come simply select this api and click on enable it i have already click on enable so you need to enable this api after enabling it you need to create the client id go to the credentials tab here and simply you need to create a new client id click on create credentials click on oauth client id so here you need to create it and uh, here in the application type you will select here various options are there but we are building for the web so we will select web application and then inside this if you are building on the browser side you need to uh, add a authorized javascript origin simply click http localhost in my case the port number will be if i cross check you will see 5500 so you need to check your port number whichever port number that you are running 5500 simply click add uri so if you if your port number is different so replace here differently and click on create and now it will create your client id it will give you this unique client id this will be different for you so don't copy my and here you simply replace it inside this snippet of code here so paste it and now you will need your api key this is also very different so right here at the above you will see api key you can also create a brand new api key also so it will create a api key for you simply it will give you this key copy this and paste it and paste it and now if you open this application we have replaced the client id api key and uh, once this application start i will explain the code also let me now open this and here i need to replace here localhost instead of 127 as you say here localhost you will see now we have the this compose option here and now you will see all the email addresses are fetched from my email account here i can also cross check as well 
if I go to gmail.com you will see all these email address are being fetched from my account here you will see coding siksha all that stuff you will see these are all the code messages which I fetched if I click on individual message here you will see it will show inside this model window here so this is a great application where it shows your inbox messages inside a model window you can also reply to this message simply uh, create a message here click on send and uh, it will send it so if you refresh your inbox you will also see in the send box you will see now we have successfully sent this message to this email address so you can see I have typed this message so if I now open that uh, email you will see a, a message will be received here you will see this is a message we have sent here like this you will see so in this easy way you can also send messages also reply to them also we can also compose a new message simply give a to email address and change the subject hello this is a test message hello this is a message sent by this app so now if I click send button here it will send out this message and once again if I refresh it you will see hello this is a test message so we have successfully sent our message by using this app here you will see hello this is a message sent by this app so now we are uh, in the background we are using gmail api to send these messages we are using the client library which is doing all the heavy lift lifting for us so this is only this single file is there index.html this is all on browser site and uh, it is showing all these messages you will see one two three four messages if i delete this let's suppose if i delete this browsing data and if i relaunch the application you will see once you load this application for the very first time it will ask for the permission you need to grant these permissions so you will see now this this will change here you can see you can compose messages write messages and these are the, all the messages which are shown to you you can also increase these messages by making some slight modifications as well so this is all the code which is necessary here you will see we are using this method here send message we are providing two email address subject reply to all this stuff and uh, you can see that if you face any sort of problem running this code you can comment on this video if your application doesn't work i have shown you step by step what you need to do you need to get your own client id and uh, api key for this to work don't copy my client id and api key so you will see this is the value you can change here display inbox so it is now displaying the messages of the inbox of the user so it is her maximum results is 10 here so i can change this to 50 as well so it will display 50 messages from my inbox so if i refresh it you will see what i'm talking about if i open with live server once again if i change this to local host and now you will see now it will change to 50 messages so it will display 50 messages to us so as you can see it will display 50 messages here so you can change this to any value of your choice here you can play play with this application and try to make this application according to your needs so the, this value you can change it to 50 100 all that stuff and uh, you can ask this from the user simply ask the user how many messages you want to display so that you can change it so simply we are displaying for the inbox here and then it is just displaying all these messages here you will see inside this row and then we are appending this this is the logic we are doing we are using the append method and we are displaying inside a table so you will see 
now we can also if you click this message any of the individual messages it will show to you in a proper model window here you will see so this is a nice thing about this so any of the messages you will see it is shown inside a proper modal window so you will find no uh, videos on gmail api on whole youtube so i decided to make this application for you so that you can use gmail api straight inside your browser uh, in order to use this so definitely download the video description link go to the video description link to download all the source code this is a very awesome application where you can send messages view the messages straight inside your browser this is you can see gmail api demo compose this message write to click on send and uh, now you can see the messages there so i will try to make more videos like this try to send multiple messages using the same gmail api so if you like this video then please hit the like button subscribe the channel and also hit the notification bell icon and i will be seeing you in the next video